Today I want to talk to you about falling in love. Um, well, in my case, and I know in a lot of cases, people fall in love and then they think they love another person. Let me just uh, describe the whole situation as I see it and then I'll just come back to the main topic of falling in love. So, um, people who do not love themselves, they um, fall in love and they think they love another person and so they create a couple and get married and give birth. Why they do this? Because they are programmed to do this. Because they read about it in books while growing up. About this one person, one only one person, you know. And it's not about numbers. Uh, it's about quality. And so they never questioned uh, the truth of this idea of finding one person and get married and give birth. Well, I think first you have to know yourself. And um, a lot of people, they have uh, these prohibitions, mental prohibitions to explore themselves because they are full of shame, guilt and fear and those are just incredibly powerful um, blockages which prevent us to expo explore ourselves. And um, so they do not explore themselves, they do not know who they are, they do not know who they are. And they think that they can um, accept love or to have love if they meet another person. And how it goes? Uh, well, usually, two people who cannot love themselves, they create a couple and give birth. And their children are unable to accept unconditional love from their parents because their parents have no idea how to love themselves. So how they possibly can love their children. And it, this unconditional love goes far beyond so-called mother instincts. It's or parent instinct, it's something absolutely different. And so um, the children grew up and they still do not know what it is, what total acceptance feels like because they didn't have it. They were punished or rewarded, very simple. Just the, the whole system of punishment and reward is man-made. It's not a God-made, it's just a man-made thing. And uh, so they become teenagers. Their sexual energy starts to wake up, to flow, and they become really aggressive because still they do not know what's, what to do with that. They have no idea what to, to do with themselves because they still do not have any type of acceptance or unconditional love and probably wise guidance and I'm speaking about um, not the teacher thing but uh, the partner thing if their parents are their friends and their equally um, respected partners then it's okay but um, parents who do not love themselves they cannot uh, treat their children equally and and so um, teenagers have no idea what to do with that and they start to fall in love and they project their traumas and dramas on onto those they feel love to and it's not uh, unconditional love as well because they didn't accept didn't receive one so how they possibly can give it to someone and uh, eventually they just do the same thing that their parents did uh, if they do not want to dive deep, they just create a couple and give birth, still having all those traumas and drama. And those who actually dared to look inside because they felt like something was completely wrong and they just felt like they are tired to lie to themselves, and so they start to get acquainted with inner stuff. And here there are a lot of um, interesting and uh, <laughs> inspiring and probably, well, uh, often uh, shocked uh, revelations, but shocking revelations, but uh, you really need to know yourself, as I said before, in order to love yourself unconditionally. 
Because if you dive deep, you understand the reasons of effects that you had. And you start to accept yourself unconditionally. That You start to give yourself unconditional love that you didn't get from your parents or from you know society which ha has no idea how to do it because... As I described, it is built on a model of reward and punishment, and the reward and punishment model goes far beyond um, anything that can look similar to <laughs> unconditional love, you know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, because punishment and reward are just conditions themselves, and unconditional love is out of these ideas. Um, so, I just lately realized that in my case before, I fell in love and then I started to feel love. But love was always connected with this deep pain, uh, especially when someone didn't love me in return or just broke up with me. And I felt this pain. And this pain started to get multiplied every single time when I again interacted with someone. And so when my heart opened, I also had this pain inside. And there was just like a circle with no way, uh, with no way out. And I just realized that, well, just lately, I, after my like six years of self ex exploring and discovering, I just felt this like falling in love feeling towards myself. But love went first. I started to really accept myself 100%. And after falling in love just happened as a as a effect. So I've realized that um, in a lot of cases uh, this falling in love has no basement. Love has a basement. If you love yourself unconditionally, you are able to love another person conditionally and then you're able to see the beauty unique beauty of another creature and his unique features and to fall in love with those I've realized that falling in love is the state of a spirit um, and love is our just true nature so um, I just realized that if you are not in love with yourself if you how then how you just can be in love with someone else well seriously you believe in that you know how it ends right it's just all leads to drama uh, we have to accept ourselves and to be really in love with ourselves we have to be fine being around ourselves we have to be extremely uh, absolutely happy being around ourselves just because we adore ourselves and I'm not saying here only about falling in love with your body because you're not your body your body doesn't even need this falling in love I guess it just needs love unconditional um, it's a partner body is a partner if you don't have strong uh, respectful relationship with your own body how then you just can respect other people bodies or it's just also you are not your personality but still um, if you are in love with your personality it's just a great basement for uh, co-creation with others if you want to and if you like if both sides really want that uh, because what happens if you don't have this you just uh, project your trauma and dramas onto your partner in a relationship and you start to blame, to manipulate, to uh, try to scare other person.